welcome back to my channel. It's Lori from She of Three Angels. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back. And today I have for you a Hobby Lobby haul. Um, this last week, all of the paper studios and stamp abilities were 50% off. So I just went and perused to find if there's anything that I kind of couldn't live without or maybe need to add to my collection. So let's go ahead and dig in. I decided to pick up one of these. It is the paper punch and it does the little small hole which I want to start um, punching a hole in my washi tape samples that I send away. I do a cut out of a playing card and I attach the washi tape to that but I wanted to do like the little paper hole punch on that so I thought that would be cute. I got that and I decided to get a the bigger one. This is like a normal paper hole punch and what I liked about it is it, it does have the rubber handle on it and stuff but remember they're 50% off so I did get that one. And in my collection, I don't have the stars, so I decided to pick that one up, too. And last but not least, I picked up the flowers. So I think that's going to complete my collection of these paper punches. So it's just nice to have something a little bit different. I did go ahead and pick up a bigger heart paper punch. So I have this smaller one and I just kind of wanted something that was a little bit bigger. Let me get these out of the way. So there's that one. And then I decided to pick up this paper punch set. And these have the heart and the star shape, but they're kind of like not specific or precise. You know how like this heart is just like very um, uniform. And this heart is actually kind of longer and it's kind of uneven on the top. And same with the star. So I thought that would be a fun punch to add to my collection. I did go ahead and pick up a gold ink pad. And this is by Stamp Abilities. So these are 50% off. And I did pick up a silver one too. So I wanted to add those to my stamp collection. And speaking of stamps, I went ahead and picked up this one. It says Deliver 2, and it has the arrow on it. And this one was originally $6.99, so it was 50% off of that. And I saw this, I think it was Pam who hauled this, and I've seen this stamp before, and I thought, oh, that's so super cute, and I just never really invested in it but this one was $3.99 original price and it was on clearance for $1.99 so I couldn't pass this up because it is stinking cute even though I'm probably not going to paint it like that it does look kind of funky on the other side but I really think that this stamp is super duper cute so I figured if Pam had it I needed it in my collection and I've been looking for this kind of stencil or stamp that has like the, the gears. And um, so I did go ahead and use my 40% off on this one. And so it took 40% off of the $4.99. But this is actually just a stencil, so I'll be able to go over it with um, a paintbrush, a stamper, a dauber. Um, just to get that effect on like maybe some paper or something. So I was really excited to get that. I did find this sticker set on clearance for a dollar and I just had to have it. It's super cute. With fall and winter around the corner, I couldn't pass it up, so I did get this. I don't think I got much in stamps, which is unusual, or um, stickers. I usually kind of go all out, but I think the last time I was there, I bought enough stickers to last me a while. So, of course, with Paper Studios on sale and a, the Paper Craft Blowout, their washi was on sale, so I got this one. Super cute. 
And everybody knows I'm a coffee drinker, so I had to get this one too. I love it. I decided to pick up some of the cardstock, and this is in a cream color. This was $3.99, and with it being the Paper Studios, it was on sale for 50% off. And it looks like this is a 50 pack. So it's just plain old cream colored cardstock. I don't have a lot of the cream, so I decided to go ahead and pick that up. Then my uh, Cricut board is getting, it's getting beaten up. So um, I went ahead and repurchased some more of the adhesive cutting mats. And unfortunately, you can't use the 50% off or the 40% off on the Cricut stuff. So um, that was $9.99, but there's two mats in here. So the way that I looked at it is I paid $4.50 per mat. Last but not least, I did go ahead and check out the loose paper because that, of course, was 50% off also. Sorry about the bag noise. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the papers I got. So here is the first open stock paper I got. Yes, it is a map of the United States, but I think it's super cute because it has the gold foil on it. But what I thought about doing is, you know how people put like a map of the United States up on their wall and like when they're traveling they put a push pin on places that they've gone well I was planning on using this to put push pins in it for people that I have done swaps with or I have made friends with um, through YouTube or Facebook and doing any kind of friend mail so I thought that that would be a cute super cute way to track those then I had to get this one. Again, I think it was Pam who actually hauled this and I saw it and that was on the top of my list. I got this one. And this one I actually got two of. She did a DIY with a picture frame and I loved it. So I'm thinking I'm kind of going out of the box here with this and I'm going to do something with it, a DIY. Like I said, I have two of them. I think one of them might go in friend mail and the other one is going to be a DIY. I saw this one. I was trying to go for fall colors because, you know, it's, it's coming up. So it's just, I can feel the weather changing already. And then I got this one. And I got this one, and I thought that was really pretty with a muted blue background and these leaves in the fall colors. And what's not complete without getting the snowmen? And they look vintage. Like if you look at them, their faces and stuff are kind of crackled, kind of like they were porcelain at one point in time. And you know how it starts crackling after a while? I thought that was super cute. So there's that one. Here's another Christmas one with ornaments. And here is a red and beige or a red and tan striped. And I got two of those. If you look, it kind of has like this worn look on the outside and I like that. Something for Halloween. And of course, spider webs. What Halloween isn't complete without spider webs. I found this camera one. And I found this one. As you can see, I'm trying to go for like more of the earth tone colors. I was really trying to get some more reds and blacks and grays because I don't have a lot. But there was this navy blue. I got it in gray and I got this one. I like this one because it looks like a chalkboard and it looks like these chevron stripes are colored with chalk. I thought that was super cute. So 
with that said, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys on this one because I truly appreciate you guys coming back and supporting my channel. This is it for my Hobby Lobby. It wasn't huge. Um, I think I'm stocked up on just about everything. If I go back to Hobby Lobby or Michael's, it will be to like pick up one or two things. I have really filled my paper craft stock and there's really nothing else that I need. So I do want to thank you for coming and visiting my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Also, I would be happy to respond to any positive comments or feedback. If you would like to see more of my hauls or anything else on my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified on when more videos are coming up by me. And that's Lori at She of Three Angels. So I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.